our today's topic is modes of transmission of plant viruses. Viruses are obligate parasite. Obligate parasite means that cannot complete their life cycle without exploiting a suitable host. So in order to survive, plant viruses need to move from infected to healthy plants. And this is achieved either by mechanical means or in the case of most plant viruses by exploiting biological vectors like arthropods, nematodes, and fungi. Viruses uh, transmission may be horizontal or vertical. When plant viruses are transferred between different plants, this is called horizontal transmission. But when they are inherited from the parents or transferred from the parents to offspring, this is called vertical transmission. Now, modes of transmission. First, seed transmission of virus. Seeds are important in the spread of few viruses, like, uh, like viruses of legumes, wild cucumber, tomatoes, and curly top virus of beet sugar, etc. The virus, however, does not enter the embryo of the seed, but it is carried in the portion of the seed of the diseased plants. Earlier, it was considered that transmission through the seed of the host plant play a minor role in the spread of virus diseases. However, Bennett in 1969 listed 53 viruses which are transmitted by seeds of about 124 plant species. Second, transmission by vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation, it's a process in which plants reproduce from stem, roots, leaves, means from any part of the plant. It is one of the chief methods of transmission of virus diseases, especially of potato, rose, sugarcane, raspberry, strawberry, uh, so many other plants and many ornamental plants, right? So vegetative parts of the infected plants, such as tubers, bulbs, roots, offshoots, when used for propagation, new plants will contain the virus already present in the parents, right? So this type of the transmission is very common uh, in the case of plants which are propagated vegetatively. Transmission by mechanical means. Many mosaic viruses are transmitted mechanically from diseased plants to healthy plants by some methods like by uh, contact of infected and healthy leaves uh, brought about by wind by rubbing the juice of the diseased plants over the surface of the leaves of healthy plant then by grafting infected buds onto healthy plants similarly agricultural implements they also play uh, important role in transmission of viral diseases agricultural implements like sickle knife seed drills spade Right, some viruses spread below ground by contact between the roots of diseased and healthy plants. Then, handling plants by uh, means at planting time and in cultural operation will also help in spread of viruses such as sugar beet, curly top virus, and cucumber mosaic virus, etc. Then transmission by cascota. You must have seen yellow uh, colored weak climber on some plants. This is cascota, which is identified as a thin uh, and a weak uh, stem. Cascota attaches itself to a plant and wraps uh, itself around uh, the different parts of the plant, right? And it actually absorbs its nutrition or food uh, by means of small, small uh, outgrowths called hysteria, right? So 
Cascuta serve as transmit, transmitting agent and an effective bridge between the infected and the healthy plants by establishing this intimate biological contact through its hysteria, right? Next is soil transmission. Quite a number of viruses also transmitted through the soil. Common examples of soil born viruses are uh, like potato mosaic virus, oat virus, wheat mosaic uh, virus, etc. So in all these cases, disease is contracted from the soil. Then insect transmission. Some plant and animal viruses are spread and complete particles introduced into host cell by arthropod vectors, right? Among the arthropods, most important agent of spread of virus diseases are the insects. Insects which carry the disease is called vector, right? So insect vectors which play a major role in the dissemination of plant viruses are aphids, leaf hoppers, flea beetles, uh, similarly scale insects, white flies, right? Then transmission by fungi. The first proof of the fungus as a vector of plant viruses was found by Gergen in 1958. The virus acquired by the fungus remains in the oospore, right? Oospore is a thick walled sexual spore that dwells from fertilized oosphere, right? So when oospore germinate, it produces zoospores, right? Zoospores are motile asexual spores, right? Which function as infective agents and penetrate the roots of the uh, fresh host plants, right? Then nematodes as transmission vectors. Two group of the viruses, chobroviruses and nepoviruses. They use plant parasitic nematodes as their transmission vector. Nematodes are present in almost all environments, both in land uh, and in sea, and have many different lifestyles, including parasitism on animals and plants. So over 20,000 species of nematodes are known, of which uh, about approximately 10% are plant uh, parasites, right? Two group of the nematodes that Trichodorid nematodes and uh, longidorid nematodes are responsible for transmitting viruses in the case of plants, right? So this is all about the mode of transmission of plant viruses. Thank you.